Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, select different sizes of sizes or uh, pages you know in Photoshop CS5. So uh, you can go to file, select new. Okay. Now you have a wide range of pages. We can go for default Photoshop size and that's, I don't know what is it, I mean, it's some default size which I never work with. US paper is something which has letter le legal tabloid probably used by US people. Uh, we'll use international paper, which will consist of A4, A6, A5, and A3 sizes, and other sizes which you might be, you might be familiar with. Uh, for printing, we use this paper because uh, this has, I mean, is set to higher resolutions because uh, whatever design which is going to be printed that needs higher resolution. So. International paper is suited for that kind of designs. Uh, you know, now this is like it starts with A3 and half of that is A4 and half of that is A5 and half of that is A6. Something like that goes. Mm, yeah, and for web designing or anything of that sort, um, probably you'll use this kind of sizes. You know, this is these are some standard size. Uh, probably even your monitor size are like that, and these are some um, you know that. Uh, advertisements you get inside uh, those sizes are here used for those kind of things and now you can notice that the resolution is less for less here 72 pixels per inch because now that's exactly the pixel requirement which you need to see okay without I mean if you zoom you won't see the you won't see the clarity will be gone but otherwise the picture will be perfect with this pixel reach okay um, now we've got other options like film and video and if you're creating some you know clips for some videos you're creating for that a lot of options are there you can try out okay uh, photos you know uh, these are niches I mean, so, uh, again see because it's something which is going to be printed uh, the resolution is high and for uh, mobiles because nowadays come on a lot, lot of mobile applications are coming so depending on that screen size are here um, you can actually add, you know, you can go to custom and you can change whatever value you want. And you can, you can, you know, save as, as a preset. So, probably you can save it as uh, my custom preset one. Say okay. Um, you know, everything. I mean, you know, a lot of options here, aspect ratio and uh, color profile and stuff like that. So, it says everything and click OK. Now if you see here, you have my custom preset one. So you can select that and if, you, you, if you're using some particular preset regularly, so you can save that as something or you can delete that preset anytime. Okay, and after selecting whatever you require, just say OK. And your page is ready. And now it's ready to, ready for your, your work. Right? Okay then, see ya.